Good evening, everyone. The highlights of the news this Thursday. Traffic accidents. Run, 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 run. A Beaver County man is being held for murder. And more labor. Aloha everybody, today we're doing a review of Aliter's X Drain Classic Knit Water Shoes. Aliter makes six water shoes right now, I believe, all in their X Drain series. The cost of this one is about $45 retail on their website at the time of making this video. Aliter sent this shoe to me maybe a month ago in uh, hopes of trying it out here in Hawaii. Uh, I do a lot of shore fishing, so they wanted us to try out how these shoes handled here on the shore. It's slightly different conditions than what you might be dealing with on the mainland, but we'll get into that as the video goes forward. Some background on what I have done with these shoes. I've worn them for maybe, I'm going to say 40 hours wear time at this point. I've wore them uh, on the shore, fishing from the shoreline. I've worn them fishing from a boat, a couple boats actually. And I've also just worn them just standard walking around, cruising around with them, not on the shore at all, just hanging out. Some of the main points that a leader is marketing these shoes with is uh, that they are super lightweight. I can confirm they are very lightweight. I think these weigh about a pound between them. The sole is something that they're very proud of as well. Basically, these shoes are designed, again, as water shoes, and the main part of that being the assumption that you're going to be getting in and out of the water while wearing these shoes. So the shoes themselves are just made with all these different holes, all these different openings, and especially on the sole of the shoe. This is one of the points that they like to make is that uh, it's a specially designed sole so that there's just all these different draining ports. And you can see that the sole of the shoe there leads down and underneath the little inlay here is just all these little holes so it's quite easy for these shoes to drain. These are probably one of the most quick drying water shoe I've ever worn. Here in Hawaii we like to use uh, what we call tubbies. That's the standard go-to when you're fishing here. They have felt on the bottom. They're a totally different style of shoe. And these ones here, the Aliter shoes dry, at least this one that I got to try out, probably twice as fast as the tubbies that I normally wear so i was pretty surprised with the fact that yeah these things dry really really quick and it makes sense if you take a look at it is how you can see straight through these practically the way they knitted this is pretty interesting and it works for drying off that is for sure the top here all elastic get your feet in and out really quick you got this little like zip tie thing here you can tighten it up a little bit if you need to loosen it up what have you pretty convenient i can get them on and off just instantly it's almost like putting on a sock it's quite easy and comfortable well i'm speaking about comfortable these things are super comfortable in my opinion i was wondering how it was going to be it's so lightweight you think that it might sacrifice some uh, comfortability but no way these things are very comfortable they feel great to wear so good in fact that uh after a while of wearing them on the shore i decided just to kind of wear them for you know walking around go to the store or something so they also work not as water shoes but as normal everyday I'm lazy. I don't want to tie a shoe, throw these buggers on. Shoot. <laughs> so these have been some of the things that I personally like with these shoes. They're comfortable. They dry really quick. I also like that they look good in my opinion. These are nice looking when you're wearing them. They feel and look nice, which is always a plus. So I was mentioning the fishing conditions we have here in Hawaii. And they have slightly different requirements from your standard fishing conditions in places like the mainland or other areas. That's mainly because what we're fishing off of is for the most part, sharp lava rocks that are covered in algae. Whereas in some places, I imagine you're kind of cruising through, you might walk over some like slippery rocks here and there, you might be cruising through a river. In Hawaii, you're pretty much standing on slippery, sharp uh, rocks uh, for hours at a time, and that's the kind of areas that you might expect to fish here. Little lunch break, sandwich action. We wait for something to hit. So the requirements on the kind of shoes that we have is a little bit less of a... Uh, you know, good looking and comfortable issue. You're not really looking for comfort as much as you're looking for a piece of safety equipment that's gonna keep you stuck to those rocks in those moments where a wave might come and hit you or you're jumping around or you're, you know, you might have to run to a pole or you just happen to slip on some little rock. I got a fatty hug. Whoa! <laughs> got a casualty of me falling down. Fat injury to my reel. 
You really want something that's 100% gonna keep you stuck to those rocks, which is the reason that all of our things that we wear here is pretty much called tubbies. And tubbies on the bottom either have felt all over the bottom or literal spikes of metal. And the spikes or the felt keep you stuck to those rocks very well. So that's just a quick background on the kind of the conditions that I'm putting these shoes through uh, at least the, I think three times now that I've gotten to actually take them out and fish here on the shore with them. It's those kind of really rocky, jaggy rocky areas with occasional uh, beach kind of sand activity as well, walking around on the sand or the beaches. Um, but in between that, it's all about those rocks or running through the little tide pools to get to your pole, what have you like that. I can attest to the fact that these soles are very tough because uh, I've pretty much put them through their measure running around on sharp, jagged uh -uh rocks or lava rocks is the sharp jagged rocks we have here oh, why not yeah walk yeah walk up that way yeah real we'll walk them down yeah walk them down go right to that rock that's sticking out out there uh and they're not hardly really worn down at all i was pretty impressed in the fact they weren't just torn to shreds because that's the standard for fishing here as things get torn up really quick. So I was impressed by uh, basically the durability of the shoes. If you're not using these on all rocks, you're using them in an area that's normal, you can uh, pretty much be sure that these are gonna last you a long time. So from the perspective that I'm coming from fishing here in Hawaii, fishing off those slippery lava rocks, the soles of these feet didn't quite have enough stick to them as what I like. Uh, again, what I'm fishing here, I'm looking for basically a piece of safety equipment, especially when I'm on you know, those sharp rocks. So the soles here didn't quite keep enough slip that I'd be comfortable wearing them all the time in all the different various rocky areas that I commonly fish at. Right in this area, these shoes kind of lose grip. Right in this little slippery zone. Otherwise, they're pretty sick. Those uh, shoes that I normally wear, again, are all about specifically just sticking to rocks and that's it. So they got felt on the bottom and things like that. Another thing that I didn't quite like with these shoes is uh, sand got into them pretty easily, which you might imagine with the design they have. That's pretty much a compromise for what you got going on here. What you want is something that's gonna dry your feet off really quick. This is what you wanna use, uh, but you don't wanna use that in an area that's sandy. Uh, although in my perspective, you probably shouldn't wear any kind of shoes if you're walking around on the beach in the sand, but like where we're fishing here, we're crossing between sandy areas, rocky areas, and when you cross between those sandy areas or you jump into the water, there might be a little bit of sand. Sand can get in here really easy and it's uh, not too hard to get out. You just gotta, you know, take your standard, take your shoe off and rinse it out of the water, but it does get in there pretty easy. A final point of something that I could see being improved would be side protection. Again, your standard fishing most of these things that I'm complaining about right now are probably not gonna matter to you. I'm here, I'm fishing off sharp lava rocks, so side protection is a big bonus if you can get a little bit of side protection in there. But for the concept of these shoes, I don't think sharp lava rock is, you know, the mainstay of what they're trying to do here. They're trying to sell for your standard dude that might be fishing around in uh, lakes, rivers, shores that aren't saturated with sharp rocks. So for a standard everyday operation, the side protection is totally adequate. You got a little bit of nice protection right there and the fabric itself it's you know it's thick it's not just like easy penetrate stuff it's nice and solid but uh jumping around on lava rocks yeah not quite up to par for that at least the second fishing perspective i'd like to bring to your guys attention though is from fishing off of a boat and i gotta say that these things kill it when you're fishing on a boat they have tons of grip for the deck of the boat i didn't have really any issues it all slipping around on the boat and your feet get wet when you're fishing, especially here on a boat, there's waves, you're bringing fish over the deck, you're gonna get your feet wet. These things dried off every time real quick. I didn't have any issues about my feet being wet all day. Like sometimes I'm wearing normal shoes and I'm always worried about getting my feet wet. But these things, they killed it. I didn't have to worry about that at all. And they absolutely worked well on the boat. They stuck to that deck fine. <laughs> all right. Huh. All right, you SOV, come here. Uh, got gotcha. I didn't have any issues slipping around or nothing like that. Um, so for boat use, yeah, these things slam for boat use. So I covered what I liked, covered a little bit of the things I didn't like. Do I recommend these shoes? That is going to depend on who you are and where you're fishing. If you're here in Hawaii, and like I said, you're fishing off 
lava rock or uh, rock, you're fishing in areas that are covered in algae for long periods of time. I wouldn't recommend these shoes in that particular application just because I wouldn't recommend basically a safety piece of safety equipment that might fail somebody here. And that's pretty much what I consider your footwear when you're fishing here on these sharp rocks is it's not anything but safety equipment and you want something that you know is going to maximize your chances for not slipping. And in these case, I couldn't recommend a good conscious that you wear them in these kind of like slippery uh, rock areas because you could slip and I don't want to be the dude that told you, yeah, wear them anywhere and that happens. But keeping that in mind, when I did wear these and these exact kind of slippery applications I'm talking about, I got hooked up on a giant fish and I was able to just book it through some slippery rocks without even caring and I didn't slip at all in that particular moment. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, right there. oh, right there. yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm telling you these things, but it's just because as I'm saying, just in this sort of Hawaii application, which I know a lot of the viewers of the channel are, you really want something that's gonna keep you stuck to those rocks because when you fall on all rocks, I can tell you from experience, it sucks, man. Oh, brah! Oh! Whoo! Brah, that was almost game over, boys. However, for 99.9% .9 of the world, out there, yeah, I'd recommend these 100%. If you're out there fishing from a river, fishing from a dock, fishing from a boat especially, fishing off anything that isn't sharp lava rocks, these things kill it. They are quite comfortable. Again, they drain next level quick. Yeah, for your normal everyday applications, all this stuff I'm talking about slipping and being, oh no, they're slippery. No, they're not slippery in your standard application areas. They hold the ground fine. It's very specific to our Hawaii applications that I'm bringing that one point up. But if you're doing some standard fishing, even not fishing, if you're just walking around and enjoying an area that's wet with water, or maybe you just want to be the cool guy that wears water shoes not in the water, these things kick it. They are great. I haven't have any complaints in regards to your standard, not extreme, you know, uses. So to quickly sum all that up, Basically, I recommend these shoes to 99.9% .9 of the world's fishermen out there. And for you people that are out there on slippery, specific lava rock kind of applications, you might want to think of something like uh, tubbies. I can say that they hold up pretty well. If this thing can take probably fishing off the shore here, I'd say maybe I had like 15 hours of fish time. But 15 hours of fishing on these rock conditions are, uh, it's good that these held up so well. I was very impressed that they managed to handle that well. Even got some... Uh, a little bit of lava rocks still stuck inside this one right here. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, there's some coral, some rock right on. I like these shoes a lot. I'm gonna keep wearing them. I'm gonna keep using them. Maybe not in those extreme, super extreme applications, but every time I'm on a boat, every time I'm fishing somewhere like a dock or the shore or your standard little zone, these are what I'm gonna be reaching for from now on. So stoked on that. If you are interested in picking up these shoes, a leader was kind enough to offer us a promo code which is Shaka15. Go over to their website, aleader.com. I'll put a link down in the description below, as well as the promo code, and you can save yourself a little bit of dollars on uh, any orders that you potentially might want to make. Huge mahalo to a leader. Sending these to us to test out, get them going for everybody out there, let you know what's happening in our opinion. Bigger mahalo to you for watching. Appreciate that, everybody out there. Let me know in the comments uh, what you agree with, what you don't agree with. If you've tried these out, what are your experiences? And uh, yeah, what you think of this video in general. Okay, guys, until the next one. Da -da